Good morning, Mount Olivet family. Glad you could join me here as we enter into a new season in the church. And I say that by celebrating Christmas in July. Yes, we're only going to do this one Sunday, but it's a new season of the church. We're still in the after Easter Pentecost season, but we celebrate this Sunday as Christmas in July because we are now preparing to enter the Advent season. We're preparing ourselves for the coming King. And what better way to do that than as we see it on TV, the Hallmark Channel is doing it, QVC is doing it. So why not the church do it and let us celebrate Christmas in July? But before we do that, our Old Testament passage today is Zechariah chapter 9, as we look at verses 9 through 12 and the coming King of Zion. Our prayer psalm today is Psalm 45. We'll look at verses 10 through 17. And our New Testament passage today comes from the book of Luke, Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 10, as we look at the angels and the preparation for the coming king. But before we get into any of that, let us begin with a word of prayer. Eternal God, we thank you and we praise you. We lift you up today. As we prepare to enter a new season, Strengthen and encourage us today. Remind us that while we still feel the heat, the King is coming. While we still feel, while we still hear the sounds of summer, the pools are still filled, there's still vacations to be taken, the King is coming. Prepare us for all this. We ask this in your most holy name. Amen. So join me as we celebrate Christmas in July. In fact, to prepare myself, I've had, I have the AC on. You might be able to hear it. I'm trying out a new microphone today. So it feels like Christmas. I have stuff going on. I have a fire in the background. I have a pine kind of air freshener going. Let's celebrate together, shall we? Our Old Testament passage today is Zechariah chapter 9. Verses 9 through 12, as we talk about the coming king. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on the colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall speak peace to the nations. His rule shall be from sea to sea. And from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let us give thanks. Our prayer psalm today is Psalm 45, verses 10 through 17. And at any time, please feel free to pause, take time, and seek God in prayer. And if you have any prayer requests or concerns or joys or praises to share, please feel free to share them with us. You can leave them as a comment here on Facebook or YouTube, however you're watching. You can call, and if no one is here, leave them with Karen, our office manager, on her voicemail or email to either Karen or myself. Beginning with verse 10. Hear, O daughter, and consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Since he is your Lord, bow to him. The people of Tyre will seek your favor with gifts. The richest people, all glorious is the princess in her chamber, with robes interwoven with gold. In many colored robes, she is led to the king with her virgin companions following behind her. With joy and gladness, they are led along as they enter the palace of the king. In place of your fathers shall be your sons. 
You will make them princes in all the earth. I will cause your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Again, please feel free to pause, take time, and seek God in prayer. Our New Testament passage today comes from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 10, as we look at the shepherd and the angels. And we talk about how we can celebrate Christmas, not just in December or the 12 days following, but all year long as we begin Christmas in July. Beginning in verse 8, and in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let us give thanks. So in this short passage, we see something great. We see that the angels have come to the shepherds. We see the message that they're about to give. And they, we see that they're telling them, don't be afraid. We bring a great message. Now, if you look around right now, it is hot. And I wish I was joking because right now, as I record this, it is 83 degrees. The high is supposed to be 89 today. And it feels like it's 89 already. And it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready for Riverfest here. We know that it's supposed to be hot. In fact, the AC just kicked on again. But when we think of Christmas, we think of snow. We think of the smell of pine trees. We think of the lights. We think of early night times. In fact, we just passed the, winter, the summer solstice, so it's going to get darker earlier. Well, as we celebrate these things, we know the message we share. And we share that message at Christmas time, the coming king. And we share that message every Christmas. The coming king through Advent, the king is here on Christmas Eve. But why now? Why in July? Well, like I began, when you look at Hallmark, my mother loves to sit there at the end of a work day and watch the Hallmark Channel. She loves those Christmas in July movies. When we were growing up, she would watch QVC and watch their Christmas in July sales and do her Christmas shopping early. And I know some of you probably do as well. But when you think about it, they shouldn't be the only ones celebrating Christmas in July. When you think of the heat, it's nice to have the cold to remind us this isn't going to be how it is always. Like I said, as I sit here, I have a pine essential oil diffusing just to get the smell in the air. I have a fireplace background going on the computer as I record. And it's nice and cool in here because of the air conditioner behind me. The feel of winter is in here. The message of winter is with us all the time. The message of Christmas can be shared all the time because of what the angels said in verse 10. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. As we prepare to celebrate Riverfest this Saturday, are we not going to share the message there? The Mount Olivet youth will be out in front of this church with their lemonade stand. They're preparing to go on a mission trip to celebrate and share that message with all people. So the idea of Christmas in July makes sense. It's not about the giving gifts and it's not about the putting up the tree. It's about the sharing of the message. Now, jokingly, a lot of people have started celebrating Halloween. Because as some people say, after 4th of July, the next major holiday, when you look at the calendars, is Halloween. So they say this is the unofficial start of the Halloween season. But let's, ha let's have a little fun. Let's celebrate Christmas in July. Let's share the message with one another. Let's give the gift that was given to us that is for all people. Because as those shepherds were watching their flock, they were given a gift. As we celebrate 
each Christmas, we're giving gifts, not just the ones we put under the tree, but the ones we share with one another. So, yes, it's hot outside, and I'm not a person who likes the heat. I love the cold weather. But even though it's hot out, even though I would rather drink a lemonade right now than a hot coffee, let us take time and celebrate Christmas season. Because it'll soon be upon us, quicker than we think. And remember that we have a gift to give that is for all the people. Pray with me. Eternal God, we thank you and we praise you that you have given us a gift that is to be for everyone. So as we celebrate today, let us remember that Christmas isn't just a month or 12 days. It's all year. So let us celebrate and share that gift each and every day. We thank you for all this, and we ask this in your name and for your sake. Amen. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope wherever you are, you are safe, you are healthy, and that God has blessed you in some way today. Take care.